from Timbi and Novisa. Timbi and Novisa. <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Pop Culture. Do the most important things: like, share, comment, watch, and please, guys, subscribe. We really subscribe. need to increase those numbers. So it's a new month, and this month we'd like to talk about game-changing moments, moments that shaped us, changed us, things that we learn from, from running our YouTube channel, and just from being pop culture in general. Um, so from my experience, or from my, for my story. Um, I'm going to talk about the time we did TEDx. Now, TEDx, if you don't know, is an online platform, mostly video, I think. I think it's only video, isn't it? Um, where people get to, I guess, say a speech on whatever it is that they want to talk about. And you obviously say your speech in front of a room full of people and then they put your speech up on the TEDx website and, and YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Um, so for me, I really enjoy that experience. I love TEDx. I watch a lot of TED talks. I actually haven't watched one in a while, but um, I do really appreciate that platform. And I was very, very excited when they approached us. Um, obviously, didn't know what to talk about, and also with three very different people. So, I mean, they gave us kind of a blank canvas, and we had to decide how we were going to skin the cat and. It could have gone mm. in any direction because also there's three of us, so we all have three different stories. Um, but I love the way that we were able to come together and still be individuals, but have it still be a pop culture story. But rewind on the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That for me threw me off. <laughs> I actually was thinking about it the other day. I I was actually thinking about it because I saw someone <coughs> do the TEDx talk with the other day, and I was like, I literally was the only one that went to every single workshop. What's happening? These two, at some point, were like... I never wanted to do it in the first place. What's happening right so now? So you were never going to see any kind of enthusiasm. <laughs> no, but also... For me. But I mean, outside of that, <laughs> Mongega, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoyed the TEDx experience. It was quite challenging. Well, when you elaborate, because now when you say I didn't want to do it, that makes it seem like... Why didn't you want to do it? Yeah. I don't like public speaking. So it was that's what you're doing in TEDx. Yeah. So I think it was a challenge for all of us, but I mean, obviously for different reasons and we had different hurdles. Timmy doesn't like to, to speak publicly. Um, I don't mind it, but I, I mean, obviously need some help and coaching. I think Rabisa probably of all of us might have been the most comfortable. Am I right? Yeah, yeah of course. Um, I'm always ready to <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think the, the process behind TEDx, if you don't know, is you first have to obviously come up with your topic and go to the workshops and seminars and they teach you how to speak publicly and you have to say your speech over and over and over again. But also it's like how to think in the no, not think in themes, but like focusing the conversation, like focusing your point, because the point yeah. is not to necessarily be, oh, I want to educate, I want to inspire a new yeah. movement or whatever. <clears throat> so it was like it has to be focused and the workshop sessions were quite intense. I feel like I only missed one oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't counting but there was one <laughs> Seems like that I remember very well where I was the only one there and I presented and then But luckily because I was the one that was speaking first it was fine because I just like introduced our talk and then, and then we had a mentor was... guy. Yes, Karen. I remember our mentor um, yeah, he's on Expresso now. Oh. Gaming, yeah, he's got a gaming segment. Oh wow, he's a really cool mentor. Um, <coughs> yeah, and I, I, I enjoyed that he wasn't too on us. Like he kind of let us do our own thing. Um, and if we needed him, he'd give us tips here and there. But he wasn't like, you must say this. Yeah, because there were other groups. Hey, who were like, yeah, no, we have to meet our mentor this weekend. We have to do be lovely. Mm. Also, I think another thing is that because he was also so chilled, I feel like it also. It played into what we are comfortable with yeah, being, yeah. is being chilled as well. Yeah. So it was like, it allowed for us to create the way we either wanted to at the pace that we wanted to. Yeah. But then I kind of felt under pressure towards the end, because then it was like, it's literally next week, and we haven't <laughs> rehearsed true. this thing together. Because remember then, we were in the lounge, and we were 10 minutes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was quite interesting. And it wasn't too long at some point. Yeah, because we had to, to cut it down. It had to be 25 minutes long. 
And obviously when you write a speech, you're not necessarily and then but that's a, that's the point of the workshop sessions yeah. and for you working through the essay or working through your piece is that you're supposed to eventually get to a place where you time it. They even said that you need to note back to front. And I remember with Umam Cindy Sosa, Sandy Sosa, Cindy Sosa, I think. The author, but she's a writer, we all know her, um, being who put in the text to create it. Um, <clears throat> she spoke, so then they had this one thing where they were like, okay, cool, we want to hear one, like your speeches, who go first? And mom was like, I'll go. And she said, the whole thing not a paper inside and it was so was good like, what they i was killed. like please don't put us after her because i'm not going to be able to live up to that expectation she was so good but luckily on the day she spoke last yes because and i mean thank god he the king won't you be a key be a key, won't you? Be a key. Be the key. You have to put in a clip from her, from her speech. Her speech literally was powerful. Was so good. You have to link it below. And I felt like it made all the biggest sense for her to yeah. end. She's the only one that got a standing ovation. Yeah. That was like next level. Like, yeah. oh, like as in. Yeah. And we were also at the back like, be the key. <laughs> be the king, like, and ooh. I hope like I inspire, I aspire to be someone like that one day. And also have another TED talk where I'm the key, and I'm at the end. And I enjoyed <laughs> that that um, we went through that experience, and we le- I felt like we learned a lot. Um, it was a very introspective. So, what do you feel like? What What did you feel like you learned? Um, well, I learned obviously the the steps that you need to take to speak publicly because I I did forum discussion, but that's in high school, but that's not really like proper interrogating a speech, writing it and then having it be reviewed and then rewriting it and thinking differently. Um, and I think I also just learned from the people around us. There's so many different stories that everyone told. Mm-hmm. I mean, when we were doing the workshops, it wasn't just with the people that we did the TEDx talk with on our day, it was with other people as well. Um, so yeah, that was my story. I really loved doing TEDx. I'd love to do another one. Um, would really you want to be on the challenge. internet? Because we were, we were obviously TEDx Cape Town. Yeah. Would you want to be TEDx? Absolutely. But I need. Jesus. But the thing is, I, I I need to get to a point in my life where I feel like I have something that big to say, um, that I would want to say it on an international yeah. platform. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, girl. I feel so. like Timmy's better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that. I think that sometimes we always feel like you need to go through some life-changing thing to be the person that's going to have the key. Mm-hmm. I don't think that, general mind you, there, there wouldn't be anything that you'd be able to draw from, that you wouldn't be able to inspire an international audience. True. So, yeah. So what, do you want to be like a Bill Gates before you give us the keys? I mean, I don't know about <laughs> being a Bill Gates, but ooh, mom, I'm to see you. Speak positivity need... on your life. It's March. What's happening? <laughs> oh my God. This is taking us I'm gonna be Mom a soldier. Anybody who's trying to speak negativity on their lives, okay? So speak positivity. Yes, just speak positivity. I will speak on the (laughs) TEDx international stage (laughs) one of these days. (laughs) So yeah, that's my story. Um stay tuned for other story times on Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Um Mm -hmm. from Tembi and Novisa. Tembi and Novisa. (laughs) <laughs> Wakanda forever. <laughs> you brought it back. That was nice. <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> anyway, you know what to do? Like, share, comment, watch, and subscribe. <laughs> I do know Titan. <laughs> we should all just come together. That was clearly <laughs> <Okay, forever>. the <laughs> message. When you did it. You know, <laughs> Reminding me of the Oscars. <laughs> that was such a good. Yes. Yeah.